What's cooler than learning about teamwork and the importance of supporting each other than a solar system story train? Watch to find out! Once upon a time, there lived the sun, the cloud, and the earth. Every time the cloud rained, earth complained. Cloud was not happy about that. One day, the cloud decided he would rain forever. He was angry that the humans came out to enjoy the sun, but went home when it rained. You must move, the sun argued with the cloud. <clears throat> no, I will make it rain forever. Earth yelled at him. Rain, rain, go away, come again, another day. The cloud refused to move and stop raining. But one day, the cloud heard weeping from the earth. My crops are dying. We need the sun and the rain. We love the clouds rain, but it's too much now. Cloud suddenly realized he was hurting the humans' crops. Without sun and cloud as a team together to share the work, there wasn't enough food for the humans. He had to find a way to fix this immediately. Cloud apologized to the sun. He felt jealous. Sun said, you are very loved, Cloud. It is important for us to split the work equally though, so that Earth's ecosystem can function. Sun and Cloud took turns working so that the humans' crops would grow again. The Earth learned to appreciate both sunny and rainy days, and the balance was finally restored. is called Moon's Rocky Road to Self-Love. Moon is self-conscious about the way that her rocky surface looks compared to Sun and Earth. Watch as Moon quickly finds out about the beauty of everyone's different surfaces and learns to appreciate their own. Once upon a time, there lived the Moon. The Moon was usually alone as the Earth and Sun slept. So every once in a while, her friend Cloud would stay up with her, so she would be a little less lonely. On this night, Cloud decided to stay up with Moon to see what she's up to. Moon was not her normal self. She didn't talk very much, and when she did, she looked down. Cloud asked, What's wrong? Moon said, I don't know. I don't like my bumpy and rocky surface. Why can't I be smooth and soft like you or shiny and bright like stars? I wish I looked like anyone else but me. Cloud tried to make her laugh. Every one of us is different. You are beautiful in your own special way. Moon rocks. Am I right? Moon felt a little better. But she still looked sad. Cloud had an idea. Here, let me show you something. Cloud ran to the sunny side of Earth and reflects the Earth lit up face for Moon to see. Moon is surprised to see Earth has a patchy, colorful, and uneven surface. Moon has only seen Earth's shadowy face in the dark before. Soon, Moon learns to appreciate her own uniqueness too. Everyone's skin is different, and that's what makes each person special. Different is beautiful! is called How Winter Came About. Watch as Sun gets burned out from shining over the Earth for too long and needs to take a rest causing winter to come about. Once upon a time there were three friends, Sun, Cloud, and Earth. 
Cloud and sun took turns giving the earth rainy and sunny days. It's sun's turn to shine today, but she isn't feeling well at all. Sun starts feeling the pressure. It's been cloudy for a few days now, and earth needs sunshine for her plants to grow. Sun hates disappointing her friends. Sun, ready to shine your awesomeness today? Cloud said happily. <coughs> of course. <laughs> Sun tries to hide a sneeze and a cough under her breath. Cloud notices and gets worried. Oh no, Sun, you're sick. You have to rest. But I have to shine for Earth. I don't want to be lazy and disappoint my friends. Sun sighs. Cloud looks closely at Sun. She looks exhausted and isn't her usual bright self. Sun, I know you want to shine, but if you don't feel good, you should never force yourself to do work. Earth wouldn't want that and putting so much pressure on yourself will only make you sicker. Sun and Cloud go to inform Earth that Sun is sick and can't shine today. Earth completely understands. <sighs> Thank you, Cloud. For what? Cloud asks confused. For reminding me that it's okay to have a break. Having a break doesn't make me lazy. I'm always here for you, son. Lean on me for the next couple of days. I got this. Trust me. And so, Sun took a little bit of a break and Cloud covered for her. And that, my friends, is how winter came about. is called Cloud's Guide to Finding Space in the Sky. Learn about the importance of keeping personal boundaries as Cloud gets overwhelmed and needs some alone time to feel better. Cloud woke up one morning feeling really tired. Cloud thought to himself, I've been waiting so long for the humans, but I haven't had any time to rest. I feel so tired. Cloud promised to have a play date with Sun today, but felt overwhelmed and just needed some alone time. Sun noticed right away that Cloud seemed down and came over to check on them. What's wrong, Cloud? Sun asked. I feel so tired today, Cloud apologized. I'm really sorry. Don't think I can play today. Sun was worried for their friend. Oh no, are you sick? Before Cloud could answer, Sun asked, Oh no, do you need some water? Maybe you're just hungry. Here, I have a snack. No, I just need some time alone. But before Cloud can finish their sentence, Sun keeps talking. Are you sad? Are you okay? Did something happen? Cloud felt overwhelmed by all the questions. No, Cloud firmly says. All I need is some space. Leave me alone. Sun understood and left Cloud alone, still feeling worried. Sun wished they could do something for Cloud. Finally, Cloud was so relieved when they were the only one in the sky. They decided to take a walk by themselves to clear their mind. They hiked up mountains, breezed through Earth's beautiful scenery, and looked at themselves on the ocean's reflection. Cloud breathed in the fresh air, listened to the sounds of nature, and took in the wonderful views that Earth offered. Maybe I just needed some quality time in nature, Cloud thought to himself. I'm really happy I gave myself some space. After a long walk, Cloud felt recharged. They felt lighter, fluffier, and happier. From afar, Earth and Sun watched Cloud. See, Sun, sometimes all you need is to give people space, Earth bragged smugly. Nature heals. Sun rolled her eyes, but secretly Sun felt better too, knowing that their friend is feeling better.
This is a lullaby called Clouds Come Play With Us. In this lullaby, we see Cloud get angry after being left out of playtime, but then slowly learns about balance and working things out with his space friends together. Clouds, oh clouds, don't be angry. We need you just like we need the sun. We need your rain to water our land so plants can grow and we can grow too.